Hello everyone. In this lecture 33, we will understand what is wedge type and its configuration. There are total three subtopics in this lecture. The first one is what is primary and secondary wedge type. The second topic is what is model and custom wedge type. And the third topic is how to configure the wedge type which I will show you practically. Now, what is wedge type? Payment or deduction data is stored in wedge type. So, wedge type basically stores the amount or number or unit which is which can be a payment to the employee or it, it can be a deduction from the employee's paycheck. Now, there are two prime categories of wedge types in SAP. What are those two prime categories? The first one is primary or in other words master wedge types. The second one is secondary or technical wedge types. So these are the two prime categories of wedge types. Now let's understand what is primary wedge type. The primary wedge type is again divided into the following types. What are those types? Dialogue wedge type and time wedge type. Now let's understand what is dialogue wedge type. These are the wedge types that a user can enter online in the info type meaning a user can get directly go to the info type and enter the wedge type any wedge type which you can directly enter into the info type is called as a dialect wedge type so user can maintain this info type during hr master data maintenance through the transaction code pa30 what are the payroll related info types Info type basic pay which is info type A which you are aware of. This is one of the payroll related info type. Now there are some other payroll related info types such as additional payments. What is additional payments? This is info type 1515. What does this info type stores? This info type store additional payment like not regular payment but additional like the company wants to give a bonus to you once a year. So that kind of payment can be stored in this info type. Now there is one more info type called as recurring payments and deductions which is info type 14. What is the purpose of this info type? The purpose of this info type is to either pay the employee every period recurring like the, your company wants to pay you $10 or $20 every month or every two months. This is recurring payment. Similarly, you must have taken loan from the company. Now the company wants to get the loan back from you. So they will deduct some amount from you every paycheck like it could be every two months or every three months. So this is recurring payments and deductions. So this was the dialect wage types. Now what is time wage types? Time wage types are created by the system once the time evaluation is completed. If you recall my class time management I used the term time evaluation. Time evaluation is a program which is used in time management which runs automatically every night when you set this uh, as an automated job. So what does uh, what does this uh, time evaluation do? What it do is it will basically create the time waste types as well as it create the absence quotas. So these are the time waste types. These cannot be entered by user directly in the info type because these are generated by the system. This occurs during the time evaluation via a time waste type selection. So there is a separate process in the system how these time waste types are created. Example overtime bonus 50% waste type. So you are defining some conditions in the system so that system will create the time waste type. These are time management related waste types. So these cannot be entered online, meaning the user cannot directly go and in the info type and maintain this waste type. Now these were the two types of primary waste type. Now let us go and see what is secondary or technical waste type. So if you see technical or secondary waste type are these are also system generated and you cannot enter it online. Instead they are, they are created during payroll run. Secondary waste types are also used as a container to accumulate several other waste types or to store waste type information on a temporary basis. 
the technical names of the secondary waste types begin with a slash for example slash 560 this is net pay slash 101 this is for total gross amount so any waste type which starts with slash that waste type is a technical or secondary waste type these are created by the system during the payroll run why because sometimes like you want to uh, you have uh, the system has generated a waste type some amount now still there is some calculation pending for that waste type so the system is looking a place to store this particular waste type and then use it further in the calculation so these secondary waste types are also used as a container to accumulate the waste types or to store the waste type for temporary basis because again the payroll will pick up from that bucket and again uh, process in further steps so this is the technical waste type so i hope you are basically clear what is primary and what is secondary waste type now let us understand what is model and custom waste type model waste types are the standard waste types that sap has provided and you should never change their characteristics because those are the standard waste type if you change any characteristic then that particular standard waste type wherever it is getting uh, is being used all the things will be impacted so you should never touch i would uh, i would say no, uh, never change the characteristic of the model waste type but if you want to create your own waste type for your own purposes then sap has given an option to create custom waste type by copying the model waste type which is delivered by sap so you cannot change the characteristic of model waste type however you can copy that model waste type and create your own custom waste type now this topic the third one is configuration of waste types so you know what is waste type now do you have a requirement to create a custom waste type so below are the steps to create the waste type you can create the waste type using the transaction code oh one one and also I, I will show you how to navigate through the uh, navigation path so when you copy a model waste type and create a custom waste type all these tables will be updated what do you mean it means see i am taking a model waste type which is delivered by sap now I, I am basically using that particular model waste type and creating my waste type, custom waste type. So what SAP is doing, it is updating all those tables where the model waste type was there and it is also updating basically your custom waste type. Model waste type was already there but whatever the custom waste type you are creating, these tables will, will get updated with your custom waste type because you are copying a model waste type. So, all the characteristics of the model waste type will also get copied to your custom waste type because you are making a Xerox copy of the model waste type. So, everything what was there in the original waste type will get copied to your waste type. Now, you can go on each of the table if you want to change the characteristic, if you want to change something, you can do for your custom waste type. SAP has permitted that, but SAP has not permitted you to change the model waste type characteristics. So, that's the reason why. SAP has provided you an option to copy the model waste type and create a custom waste type. When you create the custom waste type, these tables will get updated. Then you can go and if you want to you know, change the characteristics of your waste type, you can go and change it. So this is the configuration of waste types. So once the waste type is created, you have to configure some of the following steps. Like you have to enter the description of the waste type. You have to check the characteristic of the waste type. You have to permit the waste type. Permit in the sense like, for example, there is a bonus waste type. Is it permissible for every employee in the company? No. Even in my company, I am not permitted for bonus waste type because it is a reason because the company doesn't want to give a bonus to my level of work. But for my colleague, he is getting a bonus waste type. Reason because he is belonging to a different employee subgroup and belonging to a different employee subgroup. So in the system you can also permit the waste type like a particular bonus waste type or some other waste type which employees are eligible for that. That you can also set in the configuration.